This is the second video in this series. This video now, we've already read our ThunderMax information that's data log. We're going to do auto map. You step in, you see we're linked. Auto tune shows it's, it's active. I'm going to go into map editing at the top of your software. The second choice is auto map. To make this very easy for you, read module perform auto map and then write back. In other words, extract the information and it's gonna change each and every line to match the green breadcrumbs. We'll go back at 4096 here in a minute and look at what it did. It's gonna go ahead, it's gonna reread all of the information in the module. After it does that, it will perform an auto map function. The idea here is that each bike is slightly different than the next, even if you use exactly the same parts. By doing auto map, it's going to learn your riding style. It'll allow your machine to run absolutely at its best. It'll change each and every map point in this entire map database for this bike. Now this, this information I've gained was just gained on a 2300 mile backroads ride. We did from Indiana, across the mountains of Pennsylvania, and back to the, the east coast in Boston, and then back again. Step back in, you'll see it's actually writing the information now. So it's extracted it and it's interpolated it. 4,096 RPM is where we were before. You'll see that there are no longer any green points. It tells you that it's written it and is it okay to close down. We are actually now ready to look at a couple things. Under basic settings, this bike has a 6,300 RPM rev limit. The speedometer calibration, there's multiple codes. You click on it, in this particular case, this is a 2012 Road Glide, 44750. That is the speedometer code to give it accurate speedometer. It's good to go. Diesel fuel cut, the number one, it's on. If I turn it off, when you get off the gas, the bike will tend to have a bit of pop and crackle on diesel. Compression release delay, the way my bike is set up, my crank is very true, it runs quite well, and we have a killer battery in this. I don't even allow the motor to turn over before it tries to fire. It hits immediately, so we have zero. But if I wanted to add decompression release, delay, in other words, I could go in here and I could change it say to one turn before it fires, or two, or three, or three and a half, or four, whatever. In this case, I have zero. Most folks like one to two. I prefer one in most cases. Now, we'll monitor the bike. Everything's live, it's active. No RPM, 77 degrees, this bike's not been started. The center point in the throttle actuation controls at 95. I'll go ahead and start the machine right now. Instantaneously, I have air fuel ratio. Target value at a cold start is 12.4. It'll, it'll, it'll actually get leaner as it gets warmer. It'll seek to set the air fuel ratio as it warms up. There it goes, green. We're going to do another video in this series that's going to talk about engine codes. I'm actually going to generate a code on this bike so we can look at the code, see what it is, and then clear it. Thanks for tuning in.